Hey guys, Eric here with Eric Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing Limited Edition EDP Club de Nuit Intense Man. And uh, this bottle, uh, it kind of looks like the original Club de Nuit, but this is like a, I want to say like a metallic gray. It's like a different color. And uh, as far as the cap, the the edges are sharper. And it's on there pretty good. There's a the atomizer's black. It says limited edition down here, but other than that, it's like the same bottle design. It's the same with the uh, milestone. I got this one also. Probably I'll probably be doing a review on this later. Probably later today. But uh, let's give it a spray. Our atomizer sprays really good. Alright guys, this is a presentation for Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. A collector's pride. Here's a big old ribbon. I think this is a overkill for a pretty much a clone house, but I guess. <laughs> and it has a So there's the box, inside a box, there's that one, and then this, and it opens up like those uh, expensive niche fragrances, but the box is kind of cheap, and it has this, and I think this is what the creeds have, and a certificate of authenticity. Make sure you're not getting a fake one. Gotta be legit. And here's the bottle. Looks the same as a regular Club de Nuit. Just this one is like a like a metallic gray. It's pretty nice. And then the edges are sharp and pointy. Limited edition. Uh, batch notes on the bottom. Cap is on there really good. And has a black atomizer. Our moth on top. Alright guys, so there's a presentation for Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition EDP. Sprays a good amount, and I could already smell it. Just it's pretty strong. So this, um, I couldn't find any notes on it, but I'm sure it has the same notes as a uh, Club de Nuit, the regular one. It's probably just tweaked a little bit. So I'm sure it still has your pineapple, your musk, your ambergris, uh, your patchouli the apple I'm sure it has all that it's just uh they probably tweaked it a little bit and this stuff is pretty strong I think it uh I think it does better than the original and it doesn't come off too too lemony like the original it's like a better a more well-rounded fragrance like they took their time to make this one make it better and let's give it a smell you still get the the bergamot, but it's not as strong. It smells way more pleasant than the original. Yeah, that smells pretty good. And then uh, as far as when to wear this, I think you could do it in the fall, the winter. Yeah, it's a strong, uh, strong bergamot, but not as bad as uh, the original Club de Nuit. And uh. As far as uh, longevity on this, since it's an EDP, it like lasts longer on your skin. But as far as projection, I think the original projects a little better. But this one's also a beast. And as far as projection, I get like two to three hours, and like eight to ten hours of a uh, longevity on the skin as a skin scent. Yeah, it smells really good. So 
Smell the patchouli. Starting to get smoky already. And I literally just sprayed it. The original Club de Nuit takes like a... I want to say like 10 to 20 minutes to get smoky. Because in the, in the opening it's really, really citrusy. This one isn't as bad. Yeah, I, like, I prefer this one over the original. But uh, as far as price, I think I paid... Uh, I think like 60 to 70 dollars for this and I got a ship from Canada so I mean is it worth double of the original I think so I think it's worth it, it smells good it's a compliment magnet compliment getter it does what the original does but a lot better I feel like it's not much of a difference in the smell but it's enough to notice that uh that this is better. Like Yeah, it smells smoky now. You can smell the, the musk, the patchouli, the it was the birch, I think. And uh you could probably wear this to the office and get compliments like crazy. You could wear it out. It's a very versatile fragrance and uh it's a crowd pleaser. I haven't really seen anyone tell me that they don't like the smell of this. So, uh, as far as the rating, I think I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. It's it's pretty much Club de Nuit Intense Man, but if you were to perfect it, this is what you would get. And I recommend you guys get it, but I want to pay more than like 70 or $80, I don't think. Or it might be worth more. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's a good fragrance. I mean, I recommend you guys at least get a decant and uh, check it out. If you like the original, you're going to love this one even more. And so there you there you have it, guys. There's my review on uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition E de Parfum. And don't forget to leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe for more fragrance content. And I'm out.